celebrating Mother's Day on 88 Seconds with a woman who claims that she is my number one fan. Happy Mother's Day. Why am I in Chicago? Because my mom, Sally, lives in Chicago. Yeah. So, uh, we, I, I don't know if you guys saw this on Facebook, but uh, for Mother's Day, we asked for you to write in and get advice. Because of course, moms always know best, especially my mom. So, are you ready for some quick questions? That's very sweet of you, yeah, sure. <laughs> it's the truth, it really I'll is. Try. We got so many questions, okay? We'll just do one at a time, okay? okay. So here we go, from Rebecca uh -huh. from Houston. Uh, Sally, I guess they know your name. Yeah. Um, do you enjoy joining James, that's me, that's what <laughs> yeah. she calls me, on his travels and what have been some of the best moments of the travels? Well, I've been doing this for about 20 years and I've loved everything. It's wonderful. I go backstage, I have the catered dinner, <laughs> I see every, I climb over the wires and, <laughs> and watch the, um, the sound, check. Uh, sound check. And uh, and one time James was traveling in Southeast Asia and took his parents along and that was the best. Okay, so the question is about how different I am from my brother Michael, how we were different growing up. Oh my goodness. Because it says that um, Linda, this comes from Linda, she's an only child and she wondered uh, what it would be like to have a sibling. You know, it, it's really um, hard to say, uh, you, you, you really can have 10 children and each one of them will have their own personality. Uh, but um, James and Michael are like night and day, uh, though we're all very fond of one another. But uh, fond, my <laughs> <laughs> we're fond of one fond another. Fond of one another. <laughs> right, we'll we that. love each other. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, no matter how far away we are, we're very close. But um, but Michael was uh, always um, in trouble and <laughs> out playing sports, and uh, mm -hmm. and James was uh, playing the piano, and Michael did not have any musical uh, experience or interest, and um, James was very dependable, and um, he he was great in. Uh, and helping take care of Michael and uh, try to send him on the right path. <laughs> so here is the question. Uh, Sally, did you do anything to encourage Jim's creativity when it came to playing the piano? Or was this something that came naturally to him? Well, in a word, yes, it came naturally to him. And frankly, I don't know how you can possibly encourage someone to be creative. I mean, I think either they are or, they're, or they aren't. And um, I mean, I just had no idea that he was going to grow up and perform and continue to play the piano. And uh, I think you just you just have to have to let let it develop on their own and try to be as supportive as you can. Did you think that, uh, I mean, do you remember me saying anything to you about wanting to be a performer or ever doing this, other than just loving music, which I always did, but do you ever remember me saying, oh, someday I want to be a performer? Yes, I do. Uh, the one thing about James that's been fantastic is that he has always shared with me his plans for the future. And I distinctly remember somewhere along the way, I think, I don't know, maybe he was in California at the time, but I remember him saying he wanted to perform on stage. And I said, like Barry Manilow, <laughs> right? Yes, you did. And, <laughs> like and he said, yes, like Barry Manilow. <laughs> so um, so it, it just developed uh, over the years very, very slowly, actually, uh, while, he, how, while he worked his way up pretty hard in the music business. Thanks a lot for watching. You know, this is a great backstage pass 
to all of the secrets that go on behind the scenes. And we love having you along. So subscribe to the Jim Brickman channel right here, okay? And uh, we'll let you know what we're up to all the time.